Well, good afternoon from Black Axe Ranch in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. I'm Ron Anik. Now that the weather's getting a little bit warmer, the ducks and the chickens, they're getting out of their uh, coop a little bit more, and that has actually uh, caused a little bit of a problem with, uh, with the bison. Seems like ducks like water. Bison need water. Ducks are going in the bison water. That is a little bit of a problem. Hey, if you guys like watching our YouTube videos, go ahead and show support by clicking on that little subscribe button down in the corner. Well, speak of the devil, here they are right here, leaving the scene of the crime. Yeah, you guys look guilty. You know what you've been doing. Yeah, this time of year, they all look a little mangy. All of us. Hey, it's Minnesota living. What are you going to do? We're stuck inside for four to five months. How do you think you would look? So this is what starts to happen. The ducks come out here. And to them, this is like a, this is like poolside for them. So, of course, they come out to the bison water and uh, get into the bison water and uh, start splashing it around and of course their feet aren't exactly the cleanest after walking through this little area here And then they decide to go for a swim. So where do you think all that? Stuff ends up it ends up in the bison water. So Aside from splashing all their water out. They also make it really dirty and uh, I don't know about you guys But I don't think I would want to drink that water either Okay, so I get it. The ducks haven't been able to get into their pond for the last three, four months because it's been frozen over with about a two and a half feet of snow on top of it. Okay, I get it. I'll give a little leeway here. They need to clean up someplace and lo and behold, they found the bison water. It's the only source of water probably within five miles in any direction that's open all year round. Well, so we're going to have to come up with a solution here. Something to get that bison water a little higher off the ground, but not too high where the bison can't reach it or where they're going to knock it over. So we'll see what we can come up with. What are you doing? Oh, they're a big Thor. Yeah. Thor's getting jealous. Thor's getting jealous. Yeah. Kissing a bull. Not sure how I feel about that. So in Minnesota, we don't throw anything away because, well, you never know when it's going to come in handy. And I've got this top here for a, uh, I guess it was one of those rolling around kitchen kind of cabinet counter top thingies. Anyway, whatever it was, uh, we're going to take the top off of that, or rather we already did. And uh, we're just going to see if we can turn that into a new base for our bison water just to get it up even a couple inches out of duck height and uh, see if that makes a difference. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Nothing exciting, just uh, knocked a couple of boards together with that top just to get it off the ground. We're gonna put this into place and see, see if it makes a difference. Well, mind you, I know it looks a little bit thin and we got some pretty heavy animals out there, but this is just temporary to get us through the rest of the winter until we can come up with something a little bit, a little bit better come spring or uh, summer. So we'll see how it goes. Since we're redoing the water thing, we might as well, we're gonna obviously have to empty out their water and then we're gonna have to put new water in. So at the same time that we're gonna be sharing this with you here, we're also going to reveal to you our super high tech bison water delivery system. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is demonstrate our elaborate high tech water removal system. Now 
that functions to get rid of all the water out of the tank and also helps to uh, clean a lot of the pee and poop out of the way too. Now, as you can see, we're pretty popular anytime we come out here, so they have to come and check us out and see what we're doing. So this is our high-tech water delivery system right here. Uh, two six-gallon buckets and then what is this, 20-gallon ton? Yeah, I think so. 20 or 18, something like that or whatever it is. Okay, who cares? Anyway, uh, and it gives me a chance to put my old uh, beer fermenting buckets to good use. So anyway, we uh, lug these damn things out here probably about every other day to keep these guys happy with the water now. Winter. Not so bad because even if they do get low on water, they got all this snow around here and they'll they'll lick that up and eat that up if they need it. But uh, come summertime, we're gonna have to make sure that these guys have good supply of water because we don't want to put pressure on those fences and trying to get out. Anyway, so we're gonna demonstrate how we uh, how we utilize the uh, super high tech water delivery system. go ladies number two Never mind, it didn't matter. She's still putting her hoof in there. Still putting her <laughs> hoof in there. Well, there you can see the finished product. I think it turned out pretty well. Gets it up a little bit above those ducks. And uh, I guess time will tell. We'll see if they knock it off there, but. Like I said, it just has to get us through to the to the summertime, better weather, and we can come up with something a little bit better. Troublemakers. Right there. Troublemakers. Well, that concludes our video for the day. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that little subscribe button down on the corner and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Ha ha, it worked. They can't get in. Ha ha ha, joke's on you guys. That might be a problem in the future. Guess we'll see. <laughs>